There are moments in our lives that seem to define us. Moments we keep going back to. That was all before. Before? What? Before? You snapped your fingers and you turned it off. I didn't know that I would fall in love with you. What was that? What was what? Were you, like, embarrassed that they saw us together? No. Where'd you find this girl? No one's talking to you. You because she wouldn't stop throwing herself at him. He was pursuing her. Tessa, let's just start over. Just reset and we can be... What? Friends? But why not? She's clearly not satisfied with her life and is looking for excitement wherever she can get it. I think you owe me a death. And what does a high school kid do to deserve you? Isn't that just another word for boring? Not always. I think that it's obviously all in his head that she had any feelings for him at all. I just don't get the obsession with her. She's not that pretty. I've said it a million times, but not only is she not that cute, she's also pretentious as hell. It's Bronte, Teresa. Nothing happened between us, okay? Us. I thought we were talking about Pride and Prejudice. You wanna do this? Harden is complicated. Yeah, I know. Just be careful. What happened? It started about his father and then your name sort of came up. I figured maybe he would talk to you. Don't you feel like you've had enough? I'm sorry for how I treated you. If, if you don't date, that's how you feel. Look, it was fun, but I don't date. I don't think that is how I feel anymore. Do you have any idea how beautiful you are right now? I never thought I would find myself completely and utterly consumed by another until her. She took my hand and led me out of the darkness and showed me that whatever our souls are made of. You don't ever have to cover up. Not for me. Hers and mine are the same. You are stunning. My life before him was so simple and decided. And now after him, there's just... after. I do love you, Tessa. I love you more than anything. I hate myself more than she ever could.